It seems that there is something strange and mysterious out there, with an immense gravity pulling on everything. Space is expanding at an accelerated rate, and giant space structures farther than we can see could be out there tearing space apart. We may have found one of these in our own universe. The observable universe spreads across and expands so big that it warps the imagination. Although there is a cosmic boundary we can see, many astronomers believe there could be much more out there in the darkness, billions and billions of light years away. Music. The cosmos is bigger than anything we can now fathom. We know that there are between 100 and 200 billion galaxies in the universe that we can currently view, but there's a reasonable likelihood that there are two trillion or more galaxies in our observable sphere alone that we are just unable to see. We define observable space as the light that has reached Earth and can be seen. As we all know, the observable universe is estimated to be 13.7 billion years old. This is determined by the speed at which light travels. Astronomers calculated the age of the universe by measuring the light that has reached us from the oldest and most distant stars. To put it into perspective, one light here is equivalent to 9.46 trillion kilometers, which is the unit of astronomical distance that light travels in a year. With that in mind, the big question is, how can the universe be 93 billion light years across if it is only 13.7 billion years old? Cosmologists estimate that the oldest photons we can currently see have traveled a distance of 45 to 47 billion light years since the hotly debated Big Bang Theory. This means that our observable universe is roughly 93 billion light years across. We are aware that everything beyond the visible light that emerged from the cosmic Big Bang hasn't had enough time to reach us and is therefore completely dark. But does this imply that everything exists just to the extent that we can see it? The truth is that there might be a lot more out there because the universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang. Edwin Hubble discovered that all galaxies are moving away from the Milky Way and that their speed is increasing with distance from us. In fact, Hubble discovered that for every megaparsec of distance, galaxies receded 500 kilometers per second faster. This finding became known as the Hubble constant, and the area of our observable universe is known as the Hubble volume. One thing we must realize is that the term observable in this context does not refer to the ability of our current technology to detect light or other information from an object, or even to the possibility that anything can be detected at all. Rather, observable here refers to the maximum speed that light can travel. When discussing the distance of anything in space, we also discuss time. Observing the night sky is like journeying through time since all of those sparkling stars are merely photographs of what they formerly looked like. Just give it some thought. If there is something beyond the observable universe that we are not currently able to see, it means that these objects are so far away from us that their light hasn't yet reached us. Some stars and other objects in the cosmos are so far away that their light can take thousands to millions of years to reach planet Earth. The cosmic horizon is the distance at which information can be retrieved. But is there anything beyond what is visible? This is a difficult question to answer, but in order to get a sense of whether there is something out there, we must consider the curvature of the observable universe. The problem is that astronomers aren't exactly sure if the universe is infinitely large or just enormously huge. Therefore, in order to measure the universe, astronomers look at its geometric curve on large scales, which provides information about its general shape. The cosmos can be limitless if it is absolutely geometrically flat, but it has a finite volume if it is curved like the surface of the Earth or like a bubble. The cosmos appears to be nearly perfectly flat, like a sheet of paper, according to recent observations and measurements of its curvature, which suggests that it must go on forever. We may say with some degree of assurance that the cosmos extends beyond the visible boundary. Here is one of the most astounding things to consider. If the universe is infinite, 
then you wouldn't just find stars, planets, and galaxies. You would eventually find everything that is possible. Astronomers believe that space could be infinite with more of what we already see, and it's probably distributed the same way as it is here in the observable part. If you were to travel far enough, as some cosmologists believe, you would eventually find another Hubble volume that is identical to ours, with a version of yourself mirroring every action. While that may sound impossible to comprehend, astronomers discovered something else very strange and unexpected in 2008. They discovered that galactic clusters were all streaming in the same direction at over 3 million and 2 hours. Think about that for a moment. You would find everything if you went far enough, including a planet Earth and your twin. Except that a copy of you might have eaten cereal this morning instead of a version of you that skipped breakfast altogether. What is the mysterious gravitational force that is pulling all these galaxies in such a way that it violates all assumptions about how mass was distributed throughout the universe after the Great Bang? A plausible explanation could be gigantic structures outside the Hubble volume that are causing a tremendous gravitational pull on everything. To put it another way, massive objects with a strong gravitational attraction could be the source. If this is accurate, it implies that the structure of the infinite cosmos outside of our field of view is not uniform. And no one is certain what these structures might be. It's possible that aggregations of matter and energy on scales we can barely fathom. Or they could be gravitational forces of other universes. Speaking of massive structures, there is one in our universe that's so big that it shouldn't even exist. In fact, it's the biggest structure in the observable universe. It's called the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, and it measures 10 billion light years across. It's so big that it makes up 11% of the observable universe. To put this further into perspective, if you were traveling at the speed of light, it would take you 10 billion years to get from one end to the other. So why shouldn't it? Exists the problem is that astronomers have no idea how this great wall formed only a few billion years after the Big Bang and could have grown so big in such a short time this means there could be giant structures like these out there pulling on everything including space one day. It could very well rip apart the fabric of space-time itself. And speaking of gravitational forces from other universes, some astronomers believe that the post-Big Bang expansion of the universe created bubbles that formed in the structure of space and each of these bubbles is an area that stopped stretching along with the rest of space and formed its own universe with its own physical laws in this scenario. Not only is space infinite but each bubble is also infinite because you can store an infinite number of infinities inside a single infinity to make that seem a little more clear even if you could reach the boundary of our bubble the space in between. Bubbles is still expanding so in the reality of space Time you could never get to the next bubble, no matter how fast you traveled, but will we one day have the technology to see what is beyond the edge of the universe we can now see this has nothing to do with our limited technology, but rather with the physical limits of the speed of light itself. Which means that any light emitted by objects at a distance of 19 billion parsecs will never reach the Earth. This is the sad reality of light from any object outside the Hubble volume as the space between us and it is expanding too quickly. For example, we may never see what a galaxy looked like 10 billion years after the Big Bang. As time goes on more and more points in space will have time for their light to reach us which means that the observable universe is still increasing in size. And that also means that the age of the universe will increase that said you might think that one day if humanity is around long enough the entire universe would become observable to us. But since space in the universe is continually expanding the distance between us and everything else becomes farther and farther each second however the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to look farther into space will look backward in time and just may give us more answers to what else exists out there in a sense it's a time machine and we'll be able to see further into the past with that said we want to know what you think is out there and do you believe that the universe is infinite and there is someone just like you somewhere billions and billions of light years away let us know what you think and if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see next then let us know thanks for watching